It is wild that the new the NATO line is now at the border of communist Russia. Like pe- people haven't put that have put that framework into their brain yet. If you think back to like East and West Berlin, where like <clears throat> Germany was the forefront of Western civilization and democracy and capitalism was in Berlin. And then on the other side of Berlin was Russia. And then the wall came down. Yeah. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Guess what? That has been encroaching inch by inch. And it's, then it's in Belarus. It's so it's in Ukraine. Yeah. Crimea. It's, it's so bankrupt. It's so sorry to say it. It's so twentieth century, bro. Hey, Putin, are you are you annexing territory again? <laughs> they are, are. You doing this? Are we going back to the fucking twentieth? They century? are though. They, I know. And, but nobody's doing anything. How did it work out? I know. No one's. I mean, how did it work out? He's literally. He's about. He's going to go all the way to the port. You mark my words. Uh, well, they're, they're going to get. Ukraine's going to be a landlocked country. Eighty yeah. percent of their GDP happens <laughs> through that port. Yeah. They're screwed. Yes. Now Poland, Finland. Romania are all, next. are all on the uh, chopping block. I think Jesus that Christ, he would dude. be asking for, and you would know more about this than I do by far, but I think that NATO has the weaponry and technology to decimate a serious Russian assault in a place like Poland. Because they, like remember this, event. if they attack, sure. if they attack a NATO member- But they just member, took Ukraine. But NATO's an, a huge difference. Ukraine is not a NATO member. Yeah. The minute they step fucking foot in a NATO- Right. Yeah. And that's why Putin said in 2012, the idea that 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 Ukraine is flirting with NATO membership is so antithetical to our. It is it is a direct assault on our national security. And if you think we're going to have NATO weapons on our border, you're sorely mistaken. Well, now they have NATO weapons yeah. on their border. Yeah, they do. He literally the hypocrisy of him saying like, "I don't want NATO bo- on my border." Miscalculation. He miscalculated. But no, he he did exactly what he thought he was going to do. He just moved instead of having NATO come to his border, he moved his border to NATO. Mm-hmm. So in in the aggressor, that, that's interesting. Yeah. Ugh, that, that's he's not dumb. He's not dumb. He's not dumb. They also say he only has three years to live. Nah, he's fine. Oh, damn. You're yeah, hard. and do what do what a tyrant can do in three years. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I could get a lot done if I, I was. Just, I think it's scared that he has three. If he actually has three years, I think he wants to be. Uh, this is know, a fancy semi- bottle. Yes, you're I welcome. could use this as a weapon. Yes, welcome to Thick Boy. Yeah, yeah he could kill somebody with that. Oh yeah, or the mic. But I think what's scary if he does have three years, he wants to be like cemented in history. Yeah. So what's the, him going to stop him from releasing the news? Well, I don't think whatever. there's any profit in that, right? So, so I think he's well, a, he's, a, he, he's a cold, calculated guy who's looking at the like. There's a, there's a strategy and a method to the madness, right? So now Ukraine belongs to me. Now Ukraine is no longer going to be a NATO member, right? And <clears throat> there's probably some, there's probably a lot of profit in something like that where you can control his he's sphere. He's losing profit though because the oligarchs are on the fucking run now. And they, yeah. him and the oligarchs control yeah. everything. I'm but, sure there's a cost risk in analysis of like, what is this land worth? What is yeah. the production that's happening on the east side? What is this port port worth? Like 80% of a country's GDP is that more than Billion. Well, look yeah, what happened yeah, to oil yeah. prices when Russia. This I need a flow chart happened. for me to make before I start making decisions about how deep into this country I'm going to go. I'm, I'm I'd be like, all right, so I would take this manufacturing, this industry, I would take this uh, mining, I would take this amount yeah, of oil. It's not stupid. No.